Singularities, also known as black holes, are so powerful that even light cannot escape their grasp. But what happens when a black hole meets something even stronger, like a wormhole? We know a black hole would win in a fight against Godzilla, Earth's yellow sun, and even the entire Milky Way. But a wormhole? That's a tall order. Sure, wormholes are only hypothetical so they're at a disadvantage against black holes, which we've actually observed. However that might be the black hole's only advantage. Where a black hole is like a kitchen sink with a drain to nowhere, a wormhole is a theoretical bridge between two universes or two distant places within the same universe. If wormholes exist, and it were possible to traverse them, you could fly a spaceship into one side and near instantly pop out on the other side where you could be in a completely different universe. Astronomers think they might be able to detect black holes falling into wormholes using ripples in spacetime known as gravitational waves, but only if wormholes actually exist and such a scenario ever happen. According to Einstein, who first predicted the existence of gravitational waves in 1916, gravity results from the way in which mass warps space and time. When two or more objects move within a gravitational field, they produce gravitational waves that travel at the speed of light, stretching and squeezing space-time along the way. Gravitational waves are extraordinarily difficult to detect because they are extremely weak, and even Einstein was uncertain whether they really existed and if they would get discovered. After decades of work, scientists reported the first direct evidence of gravitational waves in 2016 detected using the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory or in short, LEGO. In principle, all wormholes are unstable, closing the instant they open. The only way to keep them open and traversable is with an exotic form of matter with so-called, negative mass. No one knows if such exotic matter actually exists. The researchers also explored what might happen when the black hole enters one mouth of the wormhole, exits out the wormhole's other mouth into another point in space-time, and then, assuming the black hole and wormhole are gravitationally bound to one another, falls back into the wormhole and emerges out the other side. In computer models, the researchers analyzed the interactions between a black hole five times the mass of the sun and a stable traversable wormhole 200 times the mass of the sun with a throat 60 times wider than the black hole. The models suggested that gravitational signals unlike any seen up to now would occur when the black hole journeyed into and out of the wormhole. If one watched a black hole spiral into a wormhole, one would see a chirp much like two black holes meeting, but the gravitational signal from the black hole would quickly fade as it radiated most of its gravitational waves on the other side of the wormhole. Lane contrast, when two black holes collide, the result is a giant burst of gravitational waves. If one watched a black hole emerge from a wormhole, one would see an anti-chirp. Specifically, the frequency of gravitational waves from the black hole would decrease as it moved farther away from the wormhole. As the black hole keeps journeying in and out each mouth of the wormhole, it would generate a cycle of chirps and anti-chirps. The length of time between each chirp and anti-chirp would shrink over time until the black hole got stuck in the throat of the wormhole. In this scenario, eventually the black hole would stop falling in and out of the wormhole and settle near its throat. The consequences of such a finale depend on the completely speculative properties of the exotic matter found in the wormhole's throat. One possibility is that the black hole has effectively increased the mass of the wormhole and the wormhole may not possess enough exotic matter to keep stable. Maybe the resulting disruption in space-time causes the black hole to convert its mass to energy in the form of an extraordinary amount of gravitational waves. As long as a wormhole has a greater mass than any black hole it encounters, it should remain stable. If a wormhole encounters a larger black hole, the black hole may disrupt the wormhole's exotic matter enough to destabilize the wormhole, causing it to collapse and likely form a new black hole. I hope you have learned something new today. If yes, then explore the subscribe button and hit it. Also watch my another videos here. Don't forget to ask your questions below. Let's explore all at one spot. Thank you.